Okay, what's going on guys? It's Dean and I'm back again today with another video. Um, this video is going to be kind of like the last one that I did, sort of like a little tips and tricks. This one's actually going to be based this time on when starting out as a composer, what resources will benefit you the most. So based on this video, I'm going to talk about certain things that have helped me out when starting off and still help me to this day really. So I'm going to talk about YouTube channels, books, some online courses and then Facebook groups as well. So as I'm going along, I'll pop up pictures on the screen of these different uh, items that I'm talking about so you can just see them and then if anyone wants me to put the links in the comment section I can link whatever one you're looking for as well because there will be a few things named so I won't be able to link everything. Uh, so first I want to talk about is YouTube channels. YouTube is the most useful resource in the world at the minute I'd say. Um, in particular when it comes to music composition people don't realize how useful it can actually be. You can literally search in any topic when it comes to music and you'll find something. Uh, there's five or maybe six uh, particular YouTube channels that I want to talk about briefly. Maybe not even talk about, just name them. And uh, one of the first ones, one of the first ones I came across is a person called JJ Bertium. He's a composer on YouTube. He's been around a long time on the music composition scene on YouTube in fairness. And he has a pretty big channel. Uh, he focuses on game music, film music, and including concert music, classical music, which I still really like as well. I still love classical music. And he talks a lot about theory and how to compose using theory. He also does this uh, a thing on how to write like John Williams, which is quite interesting. And in particular, he particularly uses Sibelius for all of his, well, for most of his videos, which is kind of interesting. So it's different from using a DAW, like you see in the back, like Logic here in the background. So that's one channel. Another channel would be Ashton Gleckman. Uh, Ashton is a very young composer. He'd be actually he'd be younger than me. I'm going 21 in July. Ashton would be younger than me. But he's grown a very big YouTube following. And his main series would be Behind the Score, where he basically breaks down scores or even scenes from particular movies and he mocks them up himself and recreates all these and goes through what plugins he used, what sound libraries he used and his process of making these basic score mockups and it's very very useful and you can learn a lot from it. Third person would be Alex Mokala. Alex I find very interesting because he actually was not brought up on music theory whatsoever and he has from my knowledge very limited piano skills i'm pretty sure he's practicing but he has very limited piano skills as well like myself my piano skills aren't great but he particularly inputs a lot of notes and i'm say it's very time consuming but his composition at the end are absolutely amazing and his production value is very very strong he has loads and loads of useful tutorials on his channel of uh, how to get the right production sound how to orchestrate certain things he's very clear and he does very good videos the last three I want to mention quickly is Daniel James. Daniel James is a very well-known composer, particularly in game music. He's an absolute legend. I love his attitude towards most music composition, where it's really, I don't give a shit what you think, and I kind of say what I want to say. Uh, I'd like to say that I'd have that attitude myself. I'd be quite straightforward and blunt about things, and his music is absolutely amazing, so you can go check him out. Another person that would be like that as well would be Mike Verta. Mike Verde is around a long time and he's brutally honest with criticisms and feedback that he gives of people tracks which is very very useful because you don't always want people around you that will just tell you that your music is good you actually want people that will pinpoint things that are wrong in your music when you need to so go check out Mike he has a lot of uh, Valong music and tutorials and stuff up on YouTube and then last will be Music Tech Help Guy this is probably the best channel to learn about Logic Pro X in particular and also just production in general there is so much on this channel going through how to use certain plugins, how to uh, master things, mix things, everything that you're really looking for. So go check out that channel and I'll be very surprised if you don't learn something from it. So the next thing I want to talk about is books. Uh, a lot of people don't use books anymore for the particular reason that there is YouTube and everything else. But books can be still very useful to have uh, just to have right in front of you. You can just open up a book and sort of find something that you might like. Uh, one book that I picked up recently, which don't let the title of this book discredit you from getting, is called Music Composition for Dummies. Uh, I found one or two people talking about it and I thought it'd be kind of interesting to have a look at. And it is, so far, I haven't read too much of it, I need to read more, but so far it's actually been a great book. It is very straightforward and easy to read and actually quite fun to read. It covers everything from beginning with a DAW to 
writing for games, films, TV, um, sample libraries. It, it covers everything, there's some theory as well. So it has basically the broad range of everything and I would highly recommend that anyone start now. And even people that are even a bit more advanced because you'll find certain things in this book that you might have sort of skipped past. The second book would be, well, two books would be if you're not sort of caught up on your music theory. These two books are called the AB Guides to Music Theory, book one and two. There's a blue and a pink book. These cover everything music theory to you, anything at all. And some things that you won't even need for your own compositions, but sometimes no music theory it's a kind of co- a complicated topic because people say you don't need music theory. Some people say you do. Um, it's all down to people's opinion. But no music theory can really get you out of a hole. Sometimes it gets you out of a rut when looking to compose. So if you want to sort of brush up on your theory or learn some new things, pick up these two books. They're very cheap as well. Only like €10 Euro or something like that. Go pick them up and you'll learn plenty from them. Um, the last book I have that's helped me is uh, The Principles of Orchestration by a famous romantic composer called Rimsky Korsakoff. It is an amazing book on orchestration, which to know you, you need to know orchestration if you ever plan on having your music performed live, because you need to know what you're marking on a score, what's playable, what isn't playable, different ranges. So if any of that kind of stuff interests you, go check out uh, this book by Rimsky Korsakoff. It has PDF examples printed into the book as well, so you can physically see what's going on. It is very in-depth, so I would maybe say touch on some music theory before looking at it, just so you understand what you're reading. But if you already have theory down, um, go get Rimsey Korsakoff's book. Uh, it's very useful. The next thing that I want to talk about is online courses. Now, me personally, I've not taken any online courses yet, but I might take some of these from those uh, recommendations that I've got from certain people. So the four ones that I want to talk about, one is Evident. Evident is very fast growing at the minute in the composition scene. Um, they mainly focus on trailer music and sound design, but there is film scoring uh, courses on it as well. Most of them are pretty uh, well priced as well, and they come from very well established composers that actually run the courses. One of the people, actually, Alex, from, uh, that I mentioned, YouTube channels, he's heavily involved in Evident, and he's advertised the, the website quite a bit because it helped him out a lot when he was starting. So you could go check them out and see if any of the courses interest you. Another one would be Mike Verte, and I'm definitely planning on taking one of Mike's courses at some point because a lot of his courses are very, very well priced uh, for the knowledge that he brings, and they range from everything from orchestration to composing to theory to doing your first mock-up. They range from everything. Uh, You can go check out his website, and I'm sure you'll find a course that might interest you. Another one would be use the website udme i think that's how you pronounce it anyways uh, they have a lot of cheap courses ranging from five dollars to upwards space but there's many many cheap courses uh, two composers i personally know that do courses on this website is a uh, mike bagstrom and gary hibner i've i've known these two composers for god probably over a year now mike in particular posts up a lot of courses that are very uh well priced they're, they're not they won't break the bank at all so you could definitely go check them out um, if someone needs to get in contact with Mike you can just message me on YouTube and I can even help you get in contact with him as well and then the last one would be Thinkspace Education uh, Thinkspace is probably the, they would be the most expensive courses but I've heard some amazing things Thinkspace even go up to the levels of actual level A college degrees and master's degrees so this is for people that are probably well established in composition at this point and want to pursue a bit further or you've just came out of college and you might want to do a master's degree in film scoring they are full master's degrees of university standards so they are quite pricey but i thought it'd be worth mentioning them because the the courses do look very in-depth and they look very good the last thing i want to mention in this video is facebook groups if you're a composer, you should be advertising yourself on all social medias, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, anything that you can get your hands on. But one thing that it took me for some reason a while to realize is that I actually wasn't joining Facebook groups to actually meet other creative people. And Facebook groups can be super helpful. They really can be. Two Facebook groups, I'm a part of many, but two that I want to mention in this video is Film Score and Practice, which is basically a new group. Well, new-ish now, it's, it's gone a few months, but it's grown rapidly. I'm pretty sure it has over 4,000 members at this point. And um, one assignment is set every Monday 
from a video or from a film or a game and you can download that video score your own music to it and then get critiqued every monday get criticism get feedback anything you want every monday when they upload this uh, status post saying to share your music there so it's very very useful to get some sort of feedback from people and also to get videos to actually download and practice on and another group would be orchestration online orchestration online covers everything really music theory based uh, from orchestration to just playing out music theory and you'll find it is a massive group and it has over 20,000 members i'm pretty sure so you'll always get something answered on that facebook page so do go check them out as i said i'll hopefully get pictures or screenshots of all these things just so you can see them on screen and you can you can type them in yourself and go search them but if someone is looking for a specific link i'll happily put the link in the comments uh so you can go and find them so that was today's video guys um I just wanted to quickly make this because I want to try to keep uploading as much as I can and I want to try to get these sort of little tips and tricks or just sort of informative videos out as well as uh, compose my own music. I'm trying to compose my own music in the free time at the minute but these videos are quite easy to make in between composing. So I'm hoping to make a few more to come, maybe one on sample libraries where to find cheap ones. I'm pretty sure people find that quite useful. And if anyone has any other topics on what to cover next, please leave them in the comments so I'll know and I can check them out. So if you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments, leave a like in the video, and if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe to the channel, and I'll talk to you on the next video.